Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Sorry for all the sitting up. I want to talk to you guys today about how, how I ended up doing a PhD because I know that growing up or after high school, I never thought I was going to do a PhD. So if you're there right now, or if you're wondering whether you should do a PhD or not, maybe my story can help you figure out if you want it or not. And I can share with you guys a little bit what it's like to do a PhD and whether it's like I expected or not. And oof. I have my water bottle, which is actually just a giant kombucha bottle. Um, everyone makes fun of me for it because it's more than a liter. I think like 1.4 liters I saw today, but it makes me drink so much water. It's really heavy though. I just went to down to earth and got my lunch because I have no food at home and Alexis isn't home, but she has the Costco card. Like she's the owner of our Costco card. So I can't go to Costco without her because apparently the card is like non-transferable. So I can't get groceries and I don't want to get groceries at a different store because it's just so expensive. Obviously getting food like this is also expensive, but this is the very first time I did it uh, since Alexis isn't here. And I think it'll be the only time. I got his new kombucha and that's when I saw it and couldn't resist. I don't need to tell you all of this. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this. It's Okinawan sweet potato tempura roll. Tempura. This one. And it's vegan and it comes with ginger, I think. Pickled ginger. Tell me if I'm wrong. I should get chopsticks. Now let's get started talking about how I ended up doing a PhD. So after high school, I wanted to, or I didn't really think much about what I was gonna do. I think I graduated and I don't know, maybe I didn't really have much of a personality yet if that makes sense so i i don't know i wasn't ready to decide what i was going to do with my life and probably that's how many people feel but i know that growing up or yeah ever since i can remember i wanted to be a teacher but you know what you want to be growing up isn't really what you want in life maybe sometimes so I don't know, I didn't think twice about it and just thought, okay, I guess I'm gonna enroll to be a teacher. Um, and that's what I did. And in Germany, that was in Germany, right? So I graduated high school in Germany and also went to college there. And there you have to sign up for two subjects that you're gonna teach and you have to decide like what kind of school you wanna teach. Um, and I signed up for I think my grades were only good enough to sign up for German and religion, but I actually wanted to do German and English. Um, so I was waitlisted in English, but still could switch from religion to English. So I got to do German and English. Um, you also have to do like a pedagogy oriented subject and it's a bachelor's and a master's. And because I chose the two languages, um, my classes were mostly either linguistics or literature and then the pedagogy classes and they were all three different like three different departments that we took the classes in and everything and let me take a bite mmm mmm this is delicious this is so stuffed it's delicious so yeah, I was taking the linguistics and literature classes. I always hated literature. Like, I just could not, for the life of me, get at what teachers or professors ever wanted me to get at. But I really liked the linguistics things. I think I even did, like, extra work and asked my professors about extra um, readings. I was really into the linguistics stuff. But I didn't realize that that was something you can study even. So. Yeah, I still went on with my teacher program and I did like teaching. I was very shy in front of students. In Germany, you have to do many, many internships during your program, even before your program and then like semester long internships. And I was always really shy in front of my students. So I wasn't the best teacher, but I did like it. And then before or because I wanted to teach English, I had to, that was like required, I had to spend three months working or doing anything kind of, studying or working in um, an English speaking country. And mm. 
To be honest, I was surprised it went so well the first time. And I wanted to go to this island called Malta. I don't know if you know it. If you're European, you know it. If not, you probably don't. Um, they speak English and it's like a warm island. Um, it would have been really cool to go there, I think. But, mm. and I also had an idea to go do a teaching internship in the UK because my mom knew someone who knows someone there or, or who doesn't exchange, like a student exchange there. Mm. So I was gonna go there. And I think my third option was reaching out to just schools in the US. I reached out to so many schools in like school districts and I think German teaching in America Association, something like that. And out of all of those emails that I wrote, there was one person that emailed me back and that's where i ended up going um it was a teacher a german teacher in arizona and she was so nice and i don't know i looked at the school and it all looked so cool arizona just looked so cool so i ended up going there and that's my first time i went to the united states i liked it and i don't know then i went back to germany to finish up my masters which is part of the program right and then you had to do uh, student teaching. After you graduate, you, ha you have to do student teaching in Germany. And I didn't want to do it right away because they kind of place you wherever. They place you kind of dependent on when you finish up. And I knew if I waited a semester, I would be placed somewhere closer to my home, which is what I wanted. So during that semester, I wanted to learn English better because my English wasn't the best. Even though I went to Arizona for three months, I don't think I was as fluent as I wanted to be to teach English. This is embarrassing, guys. Ah, give it to me. I need to cut out every single part where I'm eating. Yeah, so I wanted to make sure my English is a little bit better before starting to teach it, especially because I was kind of shy in front of a class. So I wanted to feel confident enough to teach it. So I asked, which was kind of stupid, I asked at schools in the US, at like colleges in the US and universities, if I can teach German with them just for a semester. Obviously, no, not a thing. Yeah, I don't even know why I thought that would be possible, but I guess you get rewarded with just trying. Many people actually answered me and offered me to do my master's there. And I guess I already had a master's, but I heard that school is so expensive in the US so I thought, okay, if they offer me a master's and a scholarship to do it, like that's a once in a lifetime opportunity. So I accepted it. I didn't know it's actually a lot more common to not have to pay for grad school in the US. I just really didn't know. And that school that offered it to me first, or the school that offered it to me first was in Alabama. And I also didn't know anything about Alabama. People were telling me, oh, it's the Bible Belt. It's kind of not as progressive as you would think, or no one would think that it's progressive, but it really is not. Um, I didn't believe anyone until I got there. Uh, but yeah, I went there, did my master's in a year because I didn't like it as much as I wanted to like it. Um, but I think the program was just not the strongest in linguistics and much stronger in literature, which, you know, I didn't like. So, because I felt like I didn't really get the college or the grad school experience, um, because the program was more geared towards literature, um, I decided I wanted to stay a little bit longer, but not in that program. So I was lucky that I could finish it in one year instead of two. Um, and at that point, I wanted to apply to grad schools, or I guess I didn't even know what I wanted to do, but one option was to apply to grad schools because all of the sudden, or all of a sudden, I thought I was gonna take one and a half years for the master's, but I didn't. Mm. So I stood there without anything, without any idea of what I was gonna do, without any job lined up. So, and I thought I wanted to stay a little bit longer. So the only option that I saw was going to grad school, going to get a PhD. Um, 
And I guess I wasn't very smart about that either because I only applied to two schools. Actually, that's not even true. I only applied to one school. Um, but I emailed a few schools. Most of them told me we don't even do spring admissions because it was the spring semester. Um, so I only ended up with a choice of two, one school in Texas and University of Hawaii. Um, and that was the only one I applied to. So how did I end up doing a PhD? I guess luck, coincidence. Long story, there's no short version of it. Um, I don't know, I just never thought I was gonna do a PhD. Do I like it now? Definitely. Mm. I like that it's just being in school, mm, learning, doing your own projects, um, and teaching. Teaching students, teaching undergrads. Did I ever think this was going to be my life? No. Did I know what I was in for when I applied to the school? No. Um, did I think I was going to stay four more years in the US? Definitely no. I don't even fully know why I wanted to stay longer than one year because my plan was to go back home after Alabama. Maybe I just really didn't like Alabama enough to say, okay, this was it. This was my time in the US. I wanted, I wanted more out of it. Mm. I wanted more out of grad school. So I just decided to keep being in grad school. And then I was super, super lucky to get into the one school I applied for. Mm. My original plan was to be in school and do my PhD um, like in person for two years. And then after two years, go back to Germany and finish it up just like doing the writing. Mm. not taking classes because you don't have to anymore after this first two years but also not ever being there in person I don't think that could have worked out oh no that could not have worked out I don't know why I guess in some programs it could it definitely couldn't have worked out for me I had no idea what I was doing after my first two years um, because because you have to take classes. I feel like the first two years I was just trying to survive the classes. So definitely could not get my project done enough to go back to Germany um, after the two years. But that's fine because I ended up meeting Alexis and now uh, we live our best life here. I mean, not our best life, but but we're very, very lucky we get to live here. With all the struggles that come with it. Um, so yeah, we're very, very privileged. We get to go to school here. We get to live here. And I'm glad it turned, turned out the way it did. Is there anything else I should tell you about? Look at that one. This is just delicious. I also got a banana bread, by the way. Mm. Also vegan. We get it a lot. I love it. So let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you're thinking about going to grad school and you don't really know if you should do it or not. Um, we have other videos about, I don't know, about what grad school is like, uh, what the application process is like. I'll link them here or here. I feel like here. So yeah, you can click on those, have a look at them. They're with Alexis together. Let me know if you have any other questions about how I ended up there, how I like it now. If you're wondering what PhD life is like in Hawaii at UH, you should definitely check out our vlogs. 
because we sometimes take you guys with us. Thank you guys so much for watching this video as long as you did. Thank you for making it this far into it. I really appreciate you and I guess I'll see you next time. Goodbye. If there's any how to eat sushi rolls videos on YouTube that you think are good, that are gonna help me, please link them in the comments. I need to practice.